Hey everybody, on today's video, it's gonna be sweet and short. What I've learned by starting seeds for my flowers and the mistakes I've made. So if you watched my previous videos, I was showing you how my greenhouse was ruined because of the storm and I was able to save only a couple of the seedlings that I started two days or a day prior to the storm and now we're gonna discuss the mistakes I've made. It's not gonna be connected to the greenhouse I had. It's more like what I wish I did differently. So the first thing that I have recorded in one of the videos, I'm gonna see if I can edit it and add it here, is before last year, I was putting the soil into um, the seedling starter like trays, and then I was putting the seeds and then I was watering. And a lot of them didn't do well. I found out later that actually it's so much better if you moist your soil prior to putting it into the trays. This year I did that. So everything is planted. My daughter came to help me and I hope the weather is going to be kind of nice and uh, everything can go by plan. And if it doesn't, it doesn't and I'm not going to sweat it. But at least I learned something new about the soil in a way like I applied something new that it just makes sense. The next thing is like <laughs> the biggest mistake, I would say. No, I think the, I, I think the soil is pretty big because no matter how much you water the seedlings, it's it's getting messy and there's uh, air pockets and it's it's just not good. The second big mistake is I put three different types of varieties of flowers, even if it's the same, even if it's just zinnias, but three different types, they might start like start sprouting like in different times. And this is what we've got here, people. We've got different flowers. Some are ready to be moved, some are not. It's just kind of messy. And I think this is something that I will definitely want to do in the future is like, I would do only one type of, let's say, zinnia per tray. So now the other thing I have to do is actually move those into bigger trays. And guess what? I don't have those trays. So now do I go to Green Acres and buy bigger ones or do I go through Amazon? And I don't know. So here, oh, I have one, two, three, six, seven trays and I'm trying to save the seedlings. And as soon as I have some ideas what I'm going to do, I'm going to move them. Um, the weather is getting nice here in California. We pass the storm, we pass the rain. Um, I just, just, I just think it's too early for me to plant them in the beds because they're very fragile and the squares, the squares, the squirrels here are insane. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try my best to edit the video and show you guys how I put the dry soil into the trays and I try to water them. This video got a little messed up just because of the storm and that I had different plans for this video, but I'm going to and I'm gonna add some of the footage here so I can show you like what to avoid. And I don't have a heat map. I honestly feel like if you cannot afford to have like a heat map and place to have your seedlings, I think if you have a spot in your house that is having like a sun, I think you're gonna be perfectly fine because when I moved those trays here, that was the second day after I put the seedlings and um, I was just hoping that they're not gonna be cold. So I think we passed that stage, they're not cold. Today, today's the second day we have sun. Yesterday was just a little bit. Today's the second day, but I think they're doing just, just beautiful. And yeah, I hope this helps and I'll keep you posted on everything else that is happening in my garden. And hopefully we're going to have allium this season because the squirrels are eating the allium bulbs. That's not a problem. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you want to have, uh, if you want to get some of the products I have here that are going to be mentioned in my description below. Anyway. Hope you have a good day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.